one of the tools that we make available to our monthly members as well as our annual members is one of our programs called Nicholas SMC stock market caddy Nicholas timing model as we gear up and go into the end of 2023 I was asked by a couple of members Don can you share with us what Nicholas would have done had I been in every trade this year and can you give me a perspective even over the long haul so we'd like to take a few minutes and do just that but at the same time let me just introduce myself if you're hearing my voice and this message for the first time I'm not a broker I'm not a financial advisor we're not making specific recommendations to buy or sell anything and we're not making any claims we're not suggesting that trading your own capital is for you or for anyone it's up to you we don't suggest that everyone do this it takes time it takes discipline it takes risk capital it's a very uncertain environment and it can be punishing not many other professions take money out of your pocket when you get something wrong the market will so we try to mentor those folks that might have an interest and have a passion but we don't make specific recommendations for you as much as I'd love to it is about teaching you and giving you hopefully the tools so that you can learn to trade your game not mine not Susan's not anyone else's but your own this particular tool the timing model Nicholas timing model is built around three principles the data of the underlying indice on a daily basis the data of the VIX which is the fear gauge and lastly the data of the 10-year yield interest rates now we wrote this years ago and we've used it as a model to help us and hopefully help you as a member and potentially as a member to stay on the right side of the market when we report on this each and every night the Nicholas timing model is either long or short it's there and in the market all the time but you don't have to be once your your trading skill becomes hopefully better and better each individual person can decide where they want to hopefully take a profit and or maybe have to limit a loss on a drawdown because Nicholas as you're about to see does not get every single trade right but just what does he or what has he done let me show you this is a performance report that is accurate deadly accurate it's on a daily chart starting back in December of 08 through October 6th of 2023 had a person taken every single signal daily signal in a futures contract their total net profit would be approximately $147,000 the, on the ES the profit factor would be 1.31 the total number of trades 558 percent profitable 38 percent as we scroll down you can see other important metrics and for those of you that like to know about the percentage return let's go get that for you bear with me here it is here the annual rate of return 18.93 percent now what has Nicholas done this year 
with the ES contract. Let me show you. This year, there have been 23 signals. The profit factor, 1.38 if you went signal to signal. Your net would have been $12,330.50 for 8.5% return. Now, could you have scalped out earlier, used other criteria? Yes. In fact, let me show you some of the detail as an annual member that you can use to help you make the best decision for your trading outcome. Over the last 10 years plus, the average run up is this little blue line. That means the trade on av the average amount of money that has run up winning in a winning position. So what is that? Let me show you. Click on this again here, hopefully. There it is. $2,800. That is the average run up. Now that could be a, an important number to know. Because if you get up 5,000 or 10,000, it might help you to know where you might want to lock in profit. That is the average run up. What is the, Ben, the average drawdown right here? 1468. Nearly a two to one difference. That's important. But you can see there would have, could have been some very nasty drawdowns. How do you manage these? How do you protect yourself from a negative outlier? Let me show you. If you can, if you can come here, which our members can, and come to maximum adverse excursion, these little green check marks check marks are all the winning trades. These red marks are all the losing trades and there have been some big ones. 11,000 potential, 10,000, 9,000. These would have been hurtful. But the performance characteristics that I, that I just shared with you ha has taken into account all of these trades. But as you can see here, if we could bring just at a glance a stop loss maybe down here to say 2500 actually yes it would be um yeah right at about 2500 then we could cull out theoretically all of these losses and capture all of these profits that's where the Holy Grail comes into play. What is the Holy Grail? The Holy Grail is you. In the end, there is no one system that is going to automatically print for you, for me, or for anyone money. These are tools. In fact, let me show you in a quick overview what Nicholas would have done for the other four markets. So we come back to the overall performance. This is the ES over some 10 plus years. More than that, yeah, maybe 10 to 12 there. We look at the Dow. The Dow, 174,000, a profit factor of 1.47. And we can certainly scroll down and give you a view. An annual rate of return of 20%. The Nicholas on the NQ, 
175,000, a profit factor of 1.26 percent profitable, 41 percent, an annual rate of return, 20 percent. The Russell. The Russell has been the least successful, although this year it's doing very well. Over the entire term, some 10 plus years, 41,000, 1.11, 40% profitable. And let's scroll down. An annual rate of return of 11.31. And then a big part of the Nicholas is the VIX component. We rarely short the VIX, but we do like to buy it on occasion. And this is what it would have done. And here are the, re, the returns. What's important, and it's narrow, even at 8%. What's important to understand is that these are the performance characteristics of Nicholas over the last 10 plus years and specifically in a little more detail on the ES over the last year. It does not guarantee in any way that it's going to do this again next year or over the next 10 years. But hopefully I've given you a glimpse of what it is, how we look at it, how we measure it, and how, as an individual trader, we can drill down into that information. Because you see, although I report on Nicholas either long or short for our members every night, they don't have to ride it completely. They can play, they can set up Nicholas, especially annual members. They can set it up on an abbreviated basis to capture the profits and potentially do even better. I'm Bagadon at StockMarketCaddy.com. If you have an interest in trading mechanically, robotically, learning this skill, and it is an acquired skill, be sure to visit the site and you're more than welcome to give me a call and we can chat and see if it is something that you would be interested in trying. We wish you the best. The markets are going to be volatile, not just for the remainder of this year, but for years to come. We do not think that the buy and hold over the last 10 or 12 years that produced you know, double digit returns year after year are going to be around. Between the years of 1966 to the early 70s, some 16 to 20 years, the markets ended where they started. The only people who made money were those people who had the acquired skill to trade. I'm Bagadon. This is Stock Market Caddy, 813-758-8263. Have a great week.